Call of Duty points are now in Infinite Warfare. If you want the best way to get free Call of Duty points, click the link down in the description, install the app, and start getting yourself some free Call of Duty points today. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking about the variants of Infinite Warfare, and more specifically about the best epic variants in the game. Now, basically, I'm going to be going through this year slowly and surely, getting through all of these epic variants, especially the really important ones, making videos on them, playing with them live and stuff like that. You guys already saw me do that with the Karma 45 Phobos, which is basically what I'm going to be doing with these epic variants because each of these variants are so crucial and there's a bunch of good variants in this game that aren't all epic. Some of the best variants are actually legendaries or rare, which may come as a surprise, but you know, some of the epic variants aren't actually the best variant of the guns. But today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 epic variants that I think are absolutely amazing in Infinite Warfare. And I'm going to be showing them off on the screen, talking about them. And this is based off my experience playing with them or my experience from talking to my buddies who have them or from videos that I've watched because I haven't played with every single gun on this list. Most of them I have, however, and that's what we're going to be going off of. So if you guys could drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it. Let's go for 2,500 likes. I know it's a lot of likes to go for, but uh, I haven't been getting that many likes lately, but I think this video is an absolute banger. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys could support me, you know, support it, uh, drop a like on this thing. Let's go for 2,500, that'd be awesome. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I guess let's just get right into it and let's throw these up on the screen. I just want to say this is no particular order of course my best epic variant is not going to be your best epic variant because you might be a sniper or you might be an lmg player and i might be an smg or an ar player so these are in no particular order now let's throw the first one up on the screen and the first one is going to be the nv4 flat line now basically this one gives you precision which is infinite damage ra damage range with reduced fire rate and it also gives you focus which reduces the idle sway while aiming down sights now this gun is very, very good, but the thing that's not so good about this gun is the reduced fire rate. Now, if you look at the stat card, it only reduces it by four, but that basically means that the, the positive about this gun is that, of course, you're going to get that infinite damage range, which means you're going to be killing every single person in four shots. There's not gonna, You're not going to hit that five-shot kill range ever. You're going to be killing everyone with four shots, which means this gun is, of course, probably the best assault rifle. It definitely is the best assault rifle at a super long range and definitely is the best version of the nv4 at a long range now because of the reduced fire rate though it means other versions of the nv4 will be better than this at close range so if you're going to use this variant it's definitely made for a map for example a map like crusher maybe a map like sky dock where there's that really long uh, lines of sight and those long ranges on those maps this epic variant will go absolutely dumb on them and it definitely deserves a spot on the top 10 in this game but i just want to point that out that if you are using this gun and fighting at close range it is going to be a bit weaker than the other variants because of that minus four fire rate it's not a big deal but it definitely is something that can affect it and can change you know maybe five to ten percent of gunfight so i want to point that out let's throw into the next one which is going to be the mauler mammoth now the mauler is a freaking awesome lmg I'm a really big fan of LMGs in this game, specifically the Mauler and, of course, the Raw LMG. The Titan is still pretty good, but those two are superior in my opinion. Now, the Mauler Mammoth is absolutely deadly because the two things that it comes with are Heavy Hitter, which is double damage. Listen to this. Double damage but a slower fire rate and then sharpshooter which is increased damage range so basically i have used this gun i picked it up on the ground and used it a few times it is really good and it gives you double damage it's killing people in two shots but it has that you know slower fire rate of course you can see on the fire rate i think it says minus 34 right there and then it says increased damage range also which means you're literally killing in two shots every single time but the fire rate is very slow and what this version reminds me of is it really reminds me of the Gorgon from Black Ops 3. The Gorgon from Black Ops 3 was an absolutely awesome gun, and especially at the start of Black Ops 3, it was actually very, very overpowered. It would kill in two shots, and they did end up nerfing it, and, you know, went but to the back of the game, you know, it wasn't at the forefront of the game anymore once they nerfed it, but I feel like this Mauler Mammoth is the Gorgon all over again, and if you guys are lucky enough to get this epic variant or build up to it, if you're a fan of the Mauler, it's definitely worth the build up for it, because this variant does absolute work absolutely love it and recommend it if you're a fan of, of a gun that has a slower fire rate but can pick people off across the map this thing might even be better than the flat line across the map because it just takes two shots or it might take three at distance but it's you know it's a quick tap tap and this gun is absolutely awesome now next gun up on the screen is going to be the kbs longbow big brother now i'm not the biggest fan of snipers or i'm not the i mean i'm a, I'm a fan of snipers i'm just not very good with snipers i mean i'm decent with them but you know my strength is in red guns uh with the kbs longbow big brother the reason why this one is so good is it becomes is it be, is because 
it comes with awareness, which means the minimap stays active while scoped, and stockpile, which is increased ammo. Which increased ammo can help you, but the main thing of this is that the minimap stays active while scoped. This is absolutely huge, and the reason why is because if you guys haven't really used snipers in Infinite Warfare, you haven't in other Call of Duty games, basically the weird thing about sniping in this game is sniping is very good and it was actually overpowered in the beta now i think they've nerfed it to where it's still good but it's definitely not overpowered but when you scope in your minimap is going to disappear which isn't a big deal you're scoped in and you're not going to be able to see the minimap anyways but when you scope out again for a split second there and it's it sounds like it's not a big deal but it actually is like half a second it's pretty noticeable a third or half a second your minimap is not going to be up there so if you're a quick scoper you quick scope a guy and you go to stare right up the, at the minimap as soon as you're aiming out you're not going to be able to see anything, and that really does hurt quick scopers, or it also hurts long or hard scopers a little bit, but not as much. And that's basically why you need to get this epic variant if you are at all a fan of snipers. This is the one you're going to want to be sniping with because of that awareness. It's absolutely crucial. Minimap is so important in Call of Duty, so important in a game like Infinite Warfare. It's absolutely crucial to make sure you can get that up as fast as possible while quick scoping. That's why this KBS longbow is absolutely deadly. Now, the next one is going to be a supply drop only gun. This one is only available in supply drops and for good reason because this thing is absolutely awesome and it's absolutely crazy. It's the Volt Corruption. Now, you guys will see it up on the screen right now. It gives you more money, which is every kill grants extra experience and sharpshooter increased damage range, stacks with particle amp, and the gun sort of looks cool too. It looks like an AK-74U up on the screen. Absolutely dope. Obviously, the increased damage is crazy good with the, with the Volk, but the main thing is that more money extra experience it actually grants you 20 percent extra experience which is absolutely huge especially when there's so many double xp weekends in this game if you're using that uh, every kill grants extra experience so so for example if you get a kill it's worth 100 points right 100 xp then that's going to be worth 120 xp it's not going to help you in game necessarily but it's definitely going to help you level up faster and on double xp instead of getting 200 points you'd be getting what 240 this thing is absolutely crucial to have on double xp and if anyone has this vault corruption variant if there's a double xp weekend make sure you're playing 90 to make sure you're playing every game with this thing if you want to level up fast because that is 100 percent the best way to level up nothing else in the game is going to give you a 40 percent increase on your xp except when you have this thing on on double XP weekends. And of course it works well even not on double XP weekends. Absolutely awesome variant and I hope to get that one day out of a supply drop. My luck hasn't been that good so far. Next one on the list is going to be Karma 45 Phobos. You guys saw me play with this one. I absolutely love this version of the Karma 45 because of the stats it gives you and the, the perks it gives you, but also because it changes the iron sights. And in my opinion, it makes the iron sights a lot better than they are in the original Karma 45. That's why this is probably, this is by far, every time I use the Karma, I'm gonna be using this variant. Uh, it gives you rush down, which greatly reduces spread while jumping and sliding, and sharpshooter, which increases the range. So overall, this thing just gives you a buff. It gives you a buff at close range, which is when you're gonna be, uh, you know, uh, the, the spread when you're jumping around and sliding. That's definitely a close range sort of buff. And it also gives you a buff at long range with the increased damage range. So this version overall, the variant overall, there's no negatives to it in my opinion, unless you guys don't like the iron sights. Uh, the only negative would be that you're not getting the perks from using other variants like the legendary or the rares, but none of them really stack up to this one. I think this one is absolutely awesome. I think you guys should all definitely give this Karma 45 Phobos a try. How you get this is on the Orion Initiative, which actually you need to get to level 40 to get the FHR Havoc. You get to level 50, you get the Karma 45 Phobos. Definitely the number one mission team you want to go for i've said this before orion initiative is definitely your mission team if you want to get some cool smgs in the game now let's get back into these top 10 epic weapons in the game first one we have here or not the first one but this is actually going to be the sixth one because we've already gone through five of them but this is the rpr evo bosu zuku i think i'm saying that correctly i hope i am if not you got to give me some apologies boys but there's basically two epic versions of the rpr they're both very good the other one is of course the ripper which is the ripper from call of duty ghost which everyone loves that one because it's nostalgic and it was so damn good in the beta but they have really nerfed that one and gave it so much recoil now and that's why i'm putting this one up on my list basically what this rpr evo gives you and what the this epic variant gives you is it gives you below the belt which gives you bonus damage towards the groin instead of headshot so it's basically swaps out that headshot multiplier for basically like a shot a ball shot multiplier if you're shooting the guy in the balls he's gonna do extra damage and this thing definitely is really good because when i'm using smg i'm always aiming for that you know the, the lower stomach or that the stomach groin area this variant is definitely
definitely very good. And of course, the other one it has on it is stability, which is reduced recoil, which is perfect for this RPR Evo. This thing does have quite a bit of recoil, and having that definitely adds a, a good variant on this gun. And this one definitely works very good for the SMG portion of it. Of course, the below the belt goes a lot better with the SMG portion than the assault rifle portion because the assault rifle portion is more for long range shots. You're not going to be shooting them in the groin. However, SMG, shoot them in the groin, drop shot, definitely very good on the RPR Evo. Next variant we're going to have here is the FHR-40 Windfall. Now, this one is actually received by completing the first mission team in the game at level 50, of course. So, not completing just one thing. You got to complete it 50 times. And this one is absolutely awesome. It gives you Invigorate, which basically gives you killing an enemy, refills a portion of your health. This thing is absolutely huge. I've used this weapon quite a few times. I don't actually have it yet, but I picked it up tons of times. A lot of people have this gun. And it's absolutely awesome how if you're in a gunfight, you kill the guy, you get a little bit of health, health back, which can help you to get double kills and triple kills, which is absolutely awesome of course it comes with stockpile as well which increased ammo that's definitely a plus and another cool thing about this gun well it depends it's a personal preference if it's good or bad it basically comes with a built-in sight on it it's sort of like an elo sight and it sort of like highlights the enemy players i really do like the sight that it comes with on this gun and it basically means you have your built-in sight and you can run whatever attachments you want i wouldn't run a sight anyway with the fhr because that's really a close range gun but this variant definitely is very good for rushing because of what it gives you the increased ammo is going to help uh, uh you know just help you keep that ammo count up and then of course the invigorate is probably the main portion of this thing keeping your health up and allowing you to get those double kills and those triple kills the next one we're going to have here is going to be the dmr spectacle now basically what's so good about this fair this is on a sniper rifle but as you guys know sniper rifles have auto aim in this game and back in black ops 3 sniper rifles did not have auto aim this one comes with reflex which basically means you're getting a default sort of it's more of like a boxy shaped reflex sight on this gun than a normal reflex sight but you're getting a reflex sight built in with this gun and you're also getting focus which basically allows you to focus while aiming down sights it's basically like ballistic cpu which makes this gun basically another hidden secret assault rifle in the game when you have this epic variant of it this thing is really good it reminds me a lot of sort of like maybe like mx garand or uh, a shiva when you use it a two-shot kill um, and it is going to be your semi-automatic sniper rifle but you're sort of going to be using it it's technically still a sniper rifle but come on let's be honest when you have that set on it it feels more like an assault rifle and that's basically why this version is so cool because this game has a lot of hidden assault rifles there's only five default assault rifles but there's a few hidden ones in the game there's the ebr 800 can turn into assault rifle this one can turn to assault rifle when you have that epic variant then of course you have your m1 and you have your uh, arx which is the osa so basically in total if you take all those into account you have about nine different assault rifle options in the game which when people straight up look at the game they see five assault rifles and think oh this game has a lack of guns when in reality they could have had more assault rifles they could have had more smgs but they do have uh, the classic weapons and of course the ability to diff different weapons that switch for example the type 2 uh one, one of the versions of that can switch into shotguns uh the erad has an under barrel shotgun there's a lot of different secret stuff in this game that definitely is going to take time for everyone to unlock and try out and see what's the best next one we're going to have here is the raw liberty which has make it rain double the magazine size but you can no longer reload and haste or hast slightly increased movement speed i really do like the raw i really do i've been rocking with the legendary variant lately i'm about to build my way up to this raw liberty it is pretty good i do like the double magazine size and i do like that you're going to be able to move faster this version this variant really reminds me of uh, you know a similar variant with the, the with the mauler i think the mauler legendary variant allows you to move faster and this variant is definitely very good the raw is a deadly weapon any variant is going to be good with the raw and of course having that magazine size having to reload even less because you can't reload on this gun until you run out of ammo you're going to have that double magazine size and then of course you're going to have that increased movement speed on this gun absolutely a plus and i definitely do think that uh this is a good fit for the raw uh, a really good gun with the Raw Liberty. And the last one on our list is going to be the Oni Kaken. Now, this one is actually a pistol. But what's so cool about this pistol is that it has the ability Overcharge, which basically allows you to charge up and shoot a powerful single shot, which is similar to a pistol in Advanced Warfare. I can't remember the name of it right now. I think it was maybe R Case. I can't remember the name of it. You guys can definitely let me know in the comments section down below. What was the name of the pistol in Advanced Warfare that charged up and fired a single shot? But that pistol was really awesome. And this one, Oni Kaken, is just as strong, if not stronger from that, from the gameplay that I've seen of this thing. Looks absolutely deadly. You, of course, have focus as well to reduce the idle sway while aiming on sights. And, of course, the fire rate on this thing is going to be very, very, very low because you basically have to charge it up. And it's like a mini Tempest from Black Ops 3 or the pistol from AW. 
you take a second charge it up and boom zap people and one shot kill them this thing is absolutely awesome and it sort of goes around with you know if you have a, a shotgun class you could run this as your secondary or if you had a sniper class you could run this as your secondary all that stuff would fit very very well with this pistol and i think it's definitely the best version of a pistol you're going to get when you have the epic variant with this the pistols in this game aren't the strongest they're not the weakest but they're not the strongest bo3 had some really good pistols the rk5 was was crazy if you guys ever watch competitive in black ops 3 the rk5 absolutely dominated dominated competitive and then of course the marshall 16 this one is really cool and it is kind of like the marshall 16 to be honest uh, the only cake in a really good variant hope that you guys did enjoy this video all the epic variants you guys need to know everything about them i'd really appreciate it. if you guys made it to the end please 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 comment top 10 down in the comment section down below and drop a like on this thing 2,500 likes is the goal. That would be crazy if we could hit that. I'd really, really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, guys. I'd really appreciate that as well. And uh, that's about it, guys. Sub for a cookie and a lucky, and I'm out. Peace.